Today, we will learn how to construct a triangle when the measurement of two angles and the length of the side between them are known. If we are given the measurement of two angles of a triangle and the length of the side included between them, then we can construct a triangle based on the ASA congruence criteria. Let's understand the method to construct a triangle using the ASA criteria. Suppose we have to construct a triangle ABC where side AB is of length 5.7 cm, angle CAB measures 65 degrees and angle ABC measures 85 degrees. Let's construct a triangle using the information provided. Step 1 First, we draw a rough diagram of triangle ABC with the given measurements. This helps us to determine the procedure for the construction of the triangle. In this way, we will be able to construct the triangle easily. Step 2 Next, with the help of a ruler, draw a line segment AB of length 5.7 cm. Step 3 Since it is given in the question that angle CAB measures 65 degrees, with the help of a protractor, we will construct an angle of 65 degrees at the vertex A, which means we will draw a ray at vertex A making an angle of 65 degrees with AB. We will label the ray AD. By the given condition, C must be somewhere on AD. Now, how will we find its exact location? Think a little. Now, let's understand this in the next step. Step 4. Now, we know the measurement of angle ABC. Angle ABC measures 85 degrees. Thus, with the help of a protractor at vertex B, draw a ray BE making an angle of 85 degrees with BA. Step 5. As per the previous steps, the vertex C has to lie on both rays AD and ray BE, which means vertex C is the point of intersection of ray AD and ray BE. But as you can see, both rays are not intersecting with each other. Can you tell what we can do? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. Since the ray starts from a point and extends endlessly in one direction, we can also extend the rays. This will give us the point of intersection, which is the vertex C of triangle ABC. In this way, we have obtained triangle ABC where the length of AB is 5.7 cm, angle CAB measures 65 degrees and angle ABC measures 85 degrees. Using the same method, we will construct another triangle, triangle DEF, where DE is equal to AB is equal to 5.7 cm, angle FDE is equal to angle CAB which is equal to 65 degrees and angle DEF is equal to angle ABC is equal to 85 degrees. If we place triangle DEF on triangle ABC, we observe that triangle DEF exactly coincides with triangle ABC, which means the measure and the size of both triangles are equal. Therefore, if two angles and the included side of a triangle are equal to two corresponding angles in the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent under the ASA congruence criteria. Now you can construct triangle JKL yourself where the length of side JL is 6.6 .6 cm, angle J measures 70 degrees and angle L measures 55 degrees. So today we learned how to construct a triangle when the measurement of two angles and the length of the side between them are known. In the next video, we will see some examples related to it.